Hey guys, this is Kim Jimenez from KimberlyAnnJimenez.com and today we're going to continue talking about Pinterest for business. Now in the previous video we talked about some great advanced strategies for Pinterest and we included some great tools that will help you actually um, spend less time with your Pinterest efforts and get greater results. Now if you haven't seen that video, I'm linking it to the annotation. Click on the screen now and watch it before you watch this one because this is a continuation of that uh, previous video. Anyhow, let's get started right away and I have some great tools for you guys that I wasn't able to mention in the previous video and I'm going to just jump right in. The first one is called Pinstamatic, and I absolutely love this tool. It's so cool. It's just so helpful. Um, it's great to create pins on the go. And I just want to show you a real quick um, little widget that they have called a website. And if you just enter your web information, it's actually going to pull up. Sorry about that. It's going to pull up a preview of the website, and you'll be able to see it on the right hand side, right over here. All right, so this is my website, and it's just really just capturing a snapshot of my website. Now remember that pins um, have no uh, length dimension, so it can be as lengthy as you want. It does, however, have a width dimension, but this particular pin is incredibly long. Um, but it's the pin of my website, and it's really, really cool. All right, so another great tool that I like to use is this little widget on Pinstamatic, and it's a quote widget. Now there's a bunch of other widgets that you guys can explore. Go ahead and jump over to Pinstamatic once you're done with this video and explore around. Definitely take advantage of all the widgets. But this one in particular I really like because it helps me create um, quote uh, images or quote pins on the go. It's really easy. It's really simple. I just had some crazy gibberish um, inserted just to kind of show you how it works. So basically on the right hand side you can see the preview right here. This is what it's going to look like and you have several options. So let's say you wanted to do uh, the grunge effect. It'll preview right here and see how it looks. It looks pretty awesome. All you have to do is hit pin and it will allow you to pin it directly um, on your Pinterest. So you select a board whatever board it is. Of course you have to be signed in beforehand, but just so you know, you can just pin right on here. So that's great. Guys, pinstamatic.com, great tool. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next tool. And this is one that's a little bit more elaborate, elaborate but I actually love using it. Um, it's Pick Monkey, And I know most of you have probably heard of this. Um, great tool. It's really awesome. And this is just, I just wanted to show you um, kind of this is not my original image I just edit it for for the purpose of this video but it's really easy to do um, I'm just gonna show you around a little bit I'm gonna hit don't save um, this is the main page right over here all you have to do is uh, edit a photo this one's already loaded for us um, you can go ahead and load your own photo so it's right here and then on the right hand side we have all kinds of different effects so let's say you want to create a pin but you want to you know make it look really awesome and a little bit more elaborate elaborate let's say you want to pin um, some of your products and you want to add a little bit of an effect these are the different effects that you can use um, they're so awesome and then you know if you want to insert a little um, text in it just to make it look even better you can go ahead and do that Let's just select something random here so I can add some text the text bar um, I don't know let's just say uh, beauty you can't resist and then I don't know if you want to add um, a watermark which is one of the things that we talked in the previous video um, when we talked about creating great content strategies um, oops, sorry about that. Let's stay on this page. <laughs> All right, so you can make it as big as you want, as small as you want. You know, just play around with it, um, and just hit save. It's really simple, and you can just export it, or you can actually pin directly to it. So let me see if I can show you that real quick. All right, let me 
and select Save Changes, Save Photo. All right, and this is how you can just export it, but I don't want to export it. Let me see here. Sorry, it's been a while since I've used this. Okay, uh, my computer is going a little crazy right now. Sorry about that. Anyway, so pickmonkey.com, awesome, awesome tool that you can actually use um, to add a watermark, to just edit your beautiful image. It's royalty free, so it's free to use. You can upgrade if you want um, some additional features, but it is definitely a great tool. You guys have to check it out. All right, moving on to the next tool that we're going to talk about is Pingraphy. And I really like Pingraphy because it allows you to schedule pins in advance. So that's a really awesome tool that'll help you save some time. You know, if you just really take some time out on maybe at the beginning of the week or, you know, if you do it bi-weekly, you know, just dedicate a full hour just to create your pins and schedule them out that way you don't have to worry about being on Pinterest every single day. So this is how Pinnagraphy works. I actually have this, it's pinnagraphy.com just so you guys know. Um, I'll add a link to the, the description as well. But here is the Pinnagraphy bookmarklet. It works very similar to the Pinterest bookmarklet. It's actually basically identical except that you have some additional features so um, what you're gonna do is all you have to do is drag this little uh, bookmarklet into your bookmarks so I grabbed it in there I already have it um, on my bookmarks so this is how it works once you create your account and you log in um, you are going to just, you know, browse the web. Maybe you're on your own website. Remember how I showed you um, that the Pinterest bookmark it, bookmarklet. Oh my gosh, that's such a weird word. Anyway, um, that's how it works. But here I am at Marie Forleo's website. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and click on that Pingraphy bookmarklet and automatically pops up all the pinnable images or videos on this website and you can do this with absolutely any website alright so it'll auto select all of them at the same time what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the ones that I want and the ones that I don't okay so this is just a brief example so now all I have to do is click next right here on the right hand side and it'll pop up a little window which is basically my dashboard and the pins that I selected are all on here. All I have to do is select which board I want to pin them to and write a quick description. Uh, let's see. Great uh, video by Marie Forleo. Blah, 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 blah. And it automatically has a URL for you. Same thing with this one. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Now, from this point on, all you have to do is hit schedule. All right, so we're just going to write a really quick description here, blah, 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 just so it actually allows us to pin something, because if we don't, <laughs> it won't allow us to do it. Oh my goodness, I selected a million. So some of them already have descriptions, which is pretty cool. You can use that same description, or you can change it. Now, something that's pretty awesome about Pingraphy is that they have um, a little widget called Enhanced Image, and so basically this will take you to this cool widget where you can just enhance the image right there if you want to increase the brightness, we want to decrease it, etc, etc. A ton of little stuff you can do with that, play around with it. I personally don't really use it often just because uh, usually my images are already set the way I want them. Alright, so next we're just going to hit schedule, start time, then you'll select the date. I'm going to select tomorrow says 12 a.m., um, but I actually want to do it a little later. All right, so I'm just going to click on there again. Oh, what's going on? Okay, here we go. So, now we're going to click 4 p.m. and hit the Done button. All right, Eastern Time, confirm. Remember to use your, um, your actual... Uh, whatever time zone you're in. 
oh my gosh, I didn't remember that. Sorry. So you go to your dashboard to take a look at the scheduled pins, and here they are. Pretty cool. Just kind of shows you, you know, which pins are there. I'm just gonna delete these because uh, I just did them for the purpose of this really awesome um, <laughs> video. So here are all your pins. You can just go ahead and schedule them now. There's recent uploads, and you can look at the statistics. I got no repins, likes, or comments. Again, this was just for this video. But it just gives you some really cool information. Um, you can also use the track tool. So here's the manage tool in your dashboard, and also the track tool. And this tool is really helpful just to give you a general overview of how well your pins are doing. Um, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, this is the stats that we want to look at. So these are all this. This is a list of all the boards. How many pins are in them? How many repins? Um, how many likes and comments? So we got zero comments on this account. A few likes, and for some reason, these two boards are doing really well on repins. Now this isn't a huge amount of repins, but judging, you know, by the how uh, I guess new the account is, it's not bad. So. You know, we can kind of go in there and figure out what's really working, what's not, and why it's working. So this is a great tool to use to kind of gauge how well your Pinterest efforts are doing. So I'm just going to show you one more tool real quick because we're basically out of time. And I don't personally use this one very much. It's called Pinreach. So it's pinreach.com. Um, it has a few cool tools. Um, again, it's all analytics. So what I do like is this one particular tab that talks about influential followers. And for some reason, the data on this account is not loading. I don't know why, but it really doesn't matter very much. So I'm not going to worry about it. But this one particular tab is pretty awesome because it'll measure how influential you, your followers are. So if you have, you know, followers who are more influential than others and these followers are being active and engaging with your pins, then you want to try to figure out, hey, what kind of content are they engaging with? Um, because every time that they repin, you know, one of your content, one of your pins, um, in essence, all of their followers are going to see it. So you want to kind of cater your content, that this isn't always true, but sometimes it's a good idea to cater your content towards your most influential followers. So you can do that um, with this tool, again, it's called pinareach.com, and it has a whole bunch of different tabs that you can kind of play around with. It's trending pins, most popular pins, trending members, highest reach, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. And you can check all that stuff. I'm sorry, the data is not loading for this. I don't know why, but it's just how it is. So that's what it's called, Pinreach uh, Influence and, Al and Analytics. So it's a really good tool um, that I probably should use a little more often <laughs> anyway. Um, so that is basically all the time we have for today. So guys, if you know you found this video help, helpful, make sure you like, share it, um, subscribe to my channel, click the button above to, to subscribe, and if you want even juicier tips that I never ever share on video or on my blogs, hop over to my newsletter list and sign up. You'll be receiving some awesome tips that um, will definitely help you with your social media marketing. Um, so go ahead and do that right now. You can just click on the link on the screen, sign up, and I'll see you inside.